Hi, my, my name is Gaurav and I'm going to talk about ecosystems. Ecosystems are everywhere around the world, just like the forests, the deserts, and rainforests and everywhere. You, you can also see ecosystems everywhere around us as well. In fact, we can make our own ecosystems in our house. With the proper materials, you can make an ecosystem bottle. An ecosystem bottle can contain a living animal, like a fish or a snail, and a living plant on top of it. The goal is to make sure that you don't feed the fish or the plant, but they must work together to accomplish, to live, and succeed. So in normal rainforests, we don't um, feed them or do anything to them because they can live their own life and we live our own. So everybody who has a dog or a fish or a plant that they feed every day, like they give water, they give proper food and shelter to the plant, uh, plant or animal they house. So we don't house the desert animals or the rainforest animals because they, t they live together and they know how to live properly because if one thing doesn't go right, then everything goes wrong. So let's say the food chain. If one thing goes wrong, everything else goes wrong because if the, if the plants are gone, they, the first consumer that eats the plants but don't eat any animals, don't have any food. So that means the second level consumer can't eat the first one because they won't be there anymore. So we try our best. So we do things like organizations to help animals and, and make, them, make sure they don't go extinct so we can still see them. So examples of extinct things we, haven't, we can't see anymore are like the dodo bird. They were extinct about 20, 40 years ago and can't see them anymore because they couldn't eat also hunters that ate them during the time we didn't have any organizations to help animals. So, such as tigers, we know them, a lot of, everybody knows tigers. They're about to be extinct. Um, and people are trying to save them as much as And a lot of animals, like the narwhals, lion, tiger, are being extinct and could be extinct in the next 50 to 100 years. Um, so the bodily ecosystem I was talking about is an ecosystem where there is a plant and a fish or a snail you help to raise. You only raise the fish and examine the plant, but they need to know how to um, feed themselves and like repeat the cycle. So, for instance, let's take a fish that has been bred so many times, like the goldfish or the big fish. Those two cannot survive in the wild if we just randomly put them in the middle of a lake because they don't know the actual things, how to live and they don't know how to succeed in life. We raise them and they don't know anything about what they do. So let's say you put them in a lake, thing, they'll just die because they don't have any skills or proper needs that they really do need. So let's take the Prussian carp. The Prussian carp was times to become the goldfish. The Prussian carp can easily survive in a lake with algae and plants that they cannot eat. Goldfish can do that as well. They don't know how and when to do the proper things. They'll just eat as much as they can and they can die from overfeeding. So they, and they can't find food near them. And even though there is food available where they can get it and it's just far away, they won't be able to get it because they just don't try. So it's like really hard for them to know what to do in life. So think fishes, breeding things that we know that can't be successful can be really hard because um, they won't be able to survive in the wor uh, world themselves and if you keep breeding them they will not be able to survive so so again back to ecosystems they live everywhere in the deserts rainforests we don't feed them, but eventually we'll start capturing them rainforests will be gone deserts will be turned into cities and we will start breeding them and animals won't be ever the same again so that's why there are many organizations that help between um, saving the animals like tigers, lions, even elephants, even all the animals we know and exist. So that's why we always try to save them. So that's why, um, that's why I wanted to talk about ecosystems and how 
we, even we can save them. So, yeah.